Dear listener, welcome to my channel. Topic is Modeling Information Retrieval. In this video, I am going to cover classical IR model that is Boolean. Theory and exercises are covered. In my previous video, I have covered formal characterization of IR model which is important to understand this video. Now let us start. This is a taxonomy of information retrieval model. In classical model, three methods are there, Boolean, Vector and Probabilistic. In this video, I am going to cover Boolean model. It is the simplest model. It is based on concept of set theory and Boolean logic that is AND or NOT operator. It is popular till 1990s, used in Westlaw, the largest commercial legal service, so legal search service. Now here, the query represented by user is in the form of AND or NOT. For example, if query is TI and TJ, where TI and TJ are the keywords present in query, then here documents with both TI and TJ are retrieved. Next query is query TI or TJ, here documents with either TI or TJ is retrieved. When query is not TI, so here documents without TI are retrieved. <coughs> Formal characterization of Boolean model, this is the terms and notation and formula. Q that is the user information need that is query given by the user which is a combination of AND or NOR operator. Document representation is DJ. Index term weight for the document is represented by WIJ. So here weight is Boolean that if that particular keywords is present in that document then that weight is 1 otherwise weight is 0. So here I is keyword and there are total T keywords in query and J is nothing but document. When user enters a query, it is checked whether it is in DNA form or CNA form. If it is in CNA form, that is conjective normal form, it is converted to DNF. So internally, every query is converted into DNF format, which is represented by QDNF. It is in vector because in query, not single term is present, but multiple terms are present. Now each part of the query is represented by QCC. Next is a similarity function. Now similarity function between the document and query. Now here we are checking the similarity with each QCC which is part of DNF. Now here if that keyword is present in the QCC and if that present in the DJ that is document then at that time we get that value as a 1 otherwise that value as a 0. Now this similarity function will understood more when we solve the example. <coughs> Query contains boolean operator like and or not. If query is in disjunctive normal form, we can directly find out similarity between document and query because satisfi satisfiability for formulas in DNF can be achieved in linear time. If query is in conjunctive normal form, we have to convert first from CNF to DNF. Converting a formula to DNF that is nothing but sum of product form involves using logical equivalence such as double negation, uh, elimination, de Morgan's law and distributive law. That is, we are applying the Boolean algebra to convert the CNF to DNF form internally. Now, let us start with the example. Now, five documents are given. That is D1 to D5 and this is nothing but the contents of the document. Now, this file is a completely flat structure. Now, these are the four steps we have to cover. First, stemming and stop word removal. Formation of term into document matrix. Check the query is in DNF form or not, if not, converts to the DNF and find the similarity between query and each document by applying the similarity function. Now here, for this document, now here we are finding out the, applying the stop word removal and stemming. So when we apply the stop word removal, then in that case R and they are all not, they are all unnecessary word or stop word, we are removing that and here for example cats and cat they are the same basic word that is a cat so therefore stemming is also applied so after stemming and stop word removal the final keywords are big cat nice funny small dog better and afraid now this next step is formation of the term into document matrix now these are the terms that is k1 k2 k3 k4 k5 k6 k7 and k8 and this is nothing but the documents now we are finding that term document matrix so whenever that term is present in that particular document we make it is 1 otherwise we make it is 0 so this can be also the weight vector for that particular document 
Now check the user query is in DNF form if not convert to the DNF. For example, we start with a simple query. The query is funny and dog. So we require to return the documents in which funny and dog keyword is there. Now as the query is already in DNF, so it is represented by QDNF funny and dog. Now here it is only the single part that is funny and dog. So it is represented as QCC as funny and dog. Now we require to find out the similarity between query and each document by applying the similarity function. Now here funny and dog they are nothing but the keywords K4 and K6 and these are the five documents are there. Now if that keyword is present in documents we are making the one. So we just require to check that for K4 it is 10001. So it is represented as 1001 and for K6 it is 0 4 times 1 it is 0 4 times 1 now our query is and operator so we require to check both keyword must be present so for d5 it is 1 1 now we require to apply the similarity function now here only one term is there that is gcc now you require to check this function now in query that is uh, query is funny and dog for that 1 1 is there because it is funny and dog so when funny and dog is present we are using 1 1 and if it is not then we are using 0. So this is nothing but the GIQCC that is 1 1 and we are getting same only for document D5 that is this pattern 1 1 we are getting only for document D5 therefore only in document D5 that both keywords funny and dog are present. So this is nothing but the uh, answer of boolean model and boolean model retrieves the document which is D5 in which both funny and dog keywords are present. <coughs> now we check with the next query funny or dog. This is again in DNF form. Then QCC is funny or dog. Now here K4, K6 same matrix will come. Now here GCC is again uh, QCC for GI is again 1 1 as they are present. But now here our operator is OR. So if we check here we can see that for every term it will give the value as 1 or it will match with the QCC because either one should be present. So here all documents get retrieved when we give the query funny or dog. Now next query is big dog and not funny. Now here again it is in DNF form. So this is DNF and this is the QCC part. Now we require to check the keyword K1, K6, K4. Now here what we require to do that the query is big dog and not funny. So here we are using QCC as 110 it is not 1 it is 110 that is for big 1 for dog 1 and for not funny is 0. So here we are representing funny as 1 and not funny as 0. Now here we require to check 5 documents take the 5 documents K1, K6 and not K4. So when K4 is present we are using 1 and when it is not present in the document we are mentioning the 0. So in this way we are getting this. Now here in the query format it is 1 and 1 and 0. Now we can check that it is matched only in these two documents that is D2 and D4. So in these documents we get the query that is big is present, dog is present and not funny is present. So documents are D2 and D4 and we can check with our original document in D2 and D4 dog and one minute big dog and funny D2 and D4 D2 and D4 big is present dog is present and funny is absent now our next query is cat and nice or afraid now this is not in DNF so this is in CNF format so we require to convert this format into the DNF format so when we expand this we are getting cat and nice or cat and afraid now this is the in DNF format and this is nothing but D Q DNF and each term is now represented by QCC now we require to check for both QCC and in between we require to take the OR operator so cat and nice is one QCC and cat and afraid is another QCC. Now we will check with the respective documents. Now here 
for cat and nice k2 and k3 keywords are there these again five documents and we will check uh, when these keywords are present now this is add operator so both must be present so only d1 documents get qualified and for cat and afraid the k2 and k8 keywords are there we will write down the combination and we can find out that for cat and afraid d3 d4 and d5 combination gets match so finally is nothing but the or between them so we are retrieving the documents d1 d3 d4 and d5 so in this way the query get satisfied and d1 d3 d4 d5 documents get retrieved in which there is combination is of either cat and nice or cat and afraid now start with the exercise 2 four documents are there computer information retrieval computer retrieval information and computer information now we require to again follow the four steps first taming and stop word removal formation of term document matrix check the user in dn query user query in dnf form if not convert to dnf find out the similarity between the query and each document by applying the similarity function now after stemming and stop word removal we are getting the three words computer information retriever as in documents uh, there are no stop words and no stemming they are the pure words that is basic form of the words are there then next is a formation of term document matrix these are the terms k1 k2 k3 and these are the documents so when that term is present in the documents we will make it one and otherwise we will make it zero or we will keep it blank now first next we require to check the query now the query given is com information and retrieval now this query is again in dnf form so this is nothing but dnf and it is only the single part so it is qcc now again we will put the four documents and information and retrieval are nothing but k2 and k3 now we will put this now this is and and here our qcc that is information is one and retrieval is one so this qcc is one now we can check that only <coughs> the for d1 documents it is match all other documents it is not match so only document d1 gets retrieved and we can easily check with this that information retrieval is present only in d1 document next query is in information or retrieval its dnf form is information or retrieval and qcc is information versus retrieval now here our gcc for uh, qcc for our query is 11 information is present retrieval is present now here again we are mapping that four documents and here now keywords are k2 and k3 but now here our or operator is there so these documents gets qualified all documents gets qualified and we can check that in all of the documents either information or retrieval is present information retrieval information information so in this way we are retrieving the documents by applying the boolean model <coughs> now the question is information and computer or retrieval now this query is in not in dna form since we are applying the formulas and we will convert into the dna form now this is one part of the dnf and this is a second part of the dnf which is represented by qcc now information and computer and information and retrieval k2 and k1 and k2 and k3 we will map now here we can find out that d1 and d4 gets qualified and here again d1 gets qualified so here d1 and d4 gets retried now in d1 and d4 these two keywords are present either information and computer and information and retrieval information one minute now in d1 and d4 that both keywords are present that is computer information or computer information retrieval so in this way we require to solve the problem by using the boolean model only the difficult part is that when user enters a query at that time if it is in cnf form we require to convert internally into the dna format advantage very efficient as well as easy to carry out that is simple to implement simple to understand for the end user and explain work nicely when searcher knows exactly what they are looking for disadvantage there is no ranking because document gets retried but which document is more relevant to the query is not retried it is difficult to write good boolean queries because even and or not operators are simple 
but for naive user it is not easy to write down the boolean queries documents that are close to query are being retrieved uh, we means we may feel that this documents is very close to query but still with the and or combination it may not get retrieved so that is the dis that are the disadvantage, disadvantage of boolean model so this is all about the classical ir model that is a boolean model and for this presentation the information from these two books are referred that is model information retrieval and introduction to information retrieval so this is all about the boolean model in the next video i am going to cover vector model thank you